How did they get a tag on a pineapple? We'll never know. <laughs> Is this a synthetic pineapple? Why do you have a tag? Hi everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking. My name is Heather and today we are going to adventure with pineapples. And we're gonna do them two ways just so that I can show you a couple options. So maybe you've seen it on the internet. Um, this hack per se, where you can take off each one of these things. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if we can do it, but we are sure gonna try. We're also going to try a core slicer that I got my husband for Christmas a couple of years ago. I know that it works, but maybe you've never seen it. So I just thought I'd do this quick video and show you what the adventure is today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so who doesn't like pineapple? I know that most everybody in my house loves pineapple and anytime I make the effort to cut a pineapple, it is gone within 24 hours, maybe even 12 hours, maybe two hours, I don't know. I know someone in my house, my husband, has eaten it in one hour all by himself, but I digress. <laughs> yes, I just threw him under the bus, but hey, it's a natural fruit, right? It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Anyway, a lot of people know that pineapples are juicy and delicious, but did you also know that apparently you can pick apart pineapples with your fingers? How do we know this? Because there are videos all over the internet. Look, everywhere people are saying that you can take apart this pineapple using just your fingers. I hate getting my fingers dirty. I know that's silly to say when I'm a chef or a home chef or whatever, but I do, I hate getting my fingers dirty. I especially hate getting them sticky. But for the good of the public, I am going to do this. So let's just get started. I've watched a couple of videos. Some of them have worked, some of them have not. I've seen some flaws in the videos where people were not successful. So I'm hopeful that this is an actual thing that you can do with pineapple, hopeful. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take off this top section. So apparently it comes off just like that. So it came off, all right? And the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to, you ready for this? We're gonna hit the pineapple. We're gonna be really mean to the pineapple. So I've seen everybody in every video hit it against the counter like this. Oh dear. Try that again. I don't know if that does anything. And then the rest of the videos show you pushing against it just a little bit, rolling. My counter is kind of squishy or maybe I'm not, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna roll it a little. I don't know if it's doing anything. I know it's squishing a little bit, but hey, whatever. And then we're gonna hit the top too. So we hit the bottom once or twice. Now we're gonna hit the top. Play that one in slow motion. My whole butcher block bounces up. Uh, all right. I don't know if that did anything, but hey, whatever. So let's try. I'm just going to push it on all sides. So this is the, t this is the top. Yep, juice is coming out. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get into this with just our fingers. Ready? Ooh. Ugh. Mm. Hey. I cannot get into it with just my fingers. So another thing that another person did was they actually, see right here, they ran the knife around the top part because once you get one out, then the rest should follow. It should follow. So we will try it. We will try, whoa, look at, there's a ton of juice coming out of this because I squished the crud out of it. I mean, of course there's gonna be juice coming out. Okay, so I loosened up one. Whoa, sort of loosened up one. 
Let me just go around that one. Tons of juice coming out. I feel like maybe we're being punked, you know? Whoa! Oh what my goodness! Look at that! I did not think that was going to come out. Mmm. Okay. So now that there's one out, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to pour some of this juice out. There is quite a bit. Three drips come out, really. Just felt like a lot. Okay. So let's see if we can get this top off. I'm gonna run my knife around the top. Okay. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this top, hey, no. Like how to, ha, no. Okay, I think if you just cut the top off, that'd be better, but whatever. What do I know? I'm not a pipe, pineapple, oh, I am making a mess. Okay, so let's see here. Can we get them? off without using a knife. Oh, look, you can get them off without using a knife. Huh. Okay, let's see how many we can, still really difficult. This feels like a lot of work for a party trick. Oh, dang. I mean, it comes off. The hack is real. You can do it. Pineapple is coming off in those little sections, but why would you want to do this? I mean, and it's tough. Like you could, you could have a knife nearby if you wanted to do this for a party. You leave a knife out and hope that there are no mass murderers in your, although if you invite mass murderers to a party, that's, that's on you. Um, anyway, you could potentially, Okay, like I understand that you can do this if you absolutely had to, but you don't have to. We have gadgets for this and this doesn't even look pretty. Like how does that, that doesn't look pretty. And I squished all the juice out of it and I don't know. This hack works, but is it worth it? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna move that off to the side for a second because I'm gonna show you something that actually works. This is a pineapple corer. This pineapple corer, you can find them on Amazon or at Walmart or Target or anywhere. Actually, that pineapple corers can be sold. They're actually pretty fantastic. So this is how you use one. We are going to lob off the top. And if you are willing for an adventure, Keep this, put it in water, and grow your own pineapple plant. I'm actually gonna try. I'll let you know how it turns out. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, or even if you're one of my Patreons, you might see my pineapple plant in a year or two. You never know. Okay, and then we are going to go ahead and slice off the bottom just like this. So a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom. All right. And the reason I love this thing so much is that I'm already almost done. You're gonna stick your pineapple core right in and then we're just going to twist. And we're gonna twist, it doesn't even take much effort to twist. You're just twisting like, I don't know. It's easier to twist than a can opener. If that makes, if that gives you any sense of how easy this is. I hear it. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So I got a little bit wonky, but check this out. You ready? All of my pineapple, well, and the juice everywhere. Check it out. Do you see that? Is that not amazing? Now it gets even better. So you pop off this little top. There's a little button right here. Push both buttons, pop this off. 
and then your pineapple slides right off of the top. By the way, dishwasher safe. Your core is inside. See that? Your core is inside. And look at this. You have pineapple rings. Nice and spiraled, beautiful, wonderful, delicious. And if you don't get it all the way in the center, you'll get some of the side, but that's user error. That's me. And check it out. I have this hollow tube here. So what I'm going to do with it is I am going to cut it in half and then I can use it for fish. So like you can cook your fish on top of these. I don't know. This is much easier than this. Let's try again. I'm going to see if my husband, maybe I'm just weak. Maybe he can do it. Have you seen this pineapple hack? No. Okay. So apparently we are supposed to be able to rip these off and eat them. So see if you can get one of these apart from its brother and peel it off kind of like this. It's not just me. Nope. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, you could definitely get it apart if you're stuck in the wild. And <laughs> you could get your you could get it apart. I mean, some pieces came out if you use the knife. So you could do this as, oh, he got one, sort of. If you use the knife and you go like this. Uh, this is just too messy to be worth it. So if you cut them first, you can easily pull them out. No, we're just gonna say no. We're gonna say no. That's not a, um, this is not a valid hack. Obviously it kind of works. You could do it if you put a knife around the edges of this, but honestly, I don't know that it would be worth it. I mean, my whole counter is covered in juice and just to get out this seems, oh yeah, not too much. This, this is cooler, much cooler, much easier, much more convenient. And this hack, well, it just doesn't work. So don't do it that way. Yeah, that's all I got for you. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week. And if you are looking for the truth behind a kitchen hack, I would love to try it out. Otherwise, I will see you on the next adventure. Bye.